Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome in, gorgeous darlings. So happy to have you here. So happy to be here. Uh, this is your weekly reading for August 2020, 19th, 19th through the 26th. Um, I will be uh, doing weekly readings for you every Wednesday. You can count on a new reading from me. Um, so this is exciting, uh, adding more content to the channel, and I'm just super excited. So hey, heads up, thank you so much uh, from me, from my heart to you, for all the likes and subscribes and shares. I am very grateful to you and all your comments, you guys. So much love to you. Um, okay, so what I'm going to be doing here uh, is uh, getting into your love and relationship and any spiritual messages that want to come through from our sweet Josephine. Uh, Josephine is a guide that's with me uh, and helps me uh, navigate these messages for you. Okay, um, so I'm going to be doing an extended read with this particular reading and the link will be below in the description box or you can find it pinned to the comments because I'm doing that now. It's a new thing. It's just kind of easy to bam, then you're there. All right, darling. So I want to get to these uh, psychic messages. So what I got uh, when I was sitting here uh, talking to Josephine, I got waves waves um, and then I got like a feeling uh, some burst of emotional uh, at times it uh, of emotions and at times it feels uh, a, a very um, unexplainable um, like why is this hitting me this way like you're sitting there going why am I crying this is ridiculous kind of feeling and other times just feeling different emotions like, uh, you know, anger and things like that. So what I got, uh, you know, you might be crying for no reason, this this type of thing. Um, there is a, re a release happening in these moments of uh, emotions. Um, so I got release. I literally seen a door shut, like slammed shut like being slammed in your face shut okay or you slamming the door in someone's face that that was a, a very a, a wicked vision for me um just very moody energy uh some outbursts of feelings uh so we, we've got something going on here i think you uh, you know you really need these messages it's very important for them to get to you so let's get into this, okay? I'm going to be pulling these magic sticks of mine. These are um, my magic sticks and I'm pulling them out to use them. It's gonna get kind of loud, so bear with me. It's gonna get loud. I'm gonna be shaking them up, okay? And they're gonna be coming out. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys got a lot. Holy moly. Okay, let's just put that over there. Oh my goodness, like a, that's a lot of magic sticks coming out here. Hmm. Wow. Oh my goodness, you guys. We got Passion Ignites. Okay, that could be a lot of talking a lot about the, the bursting of, mood, of of energy, the outbursts, the crying. Uh, passion, passion here. We got romance. Okay, there could be a situation going on with you and your lover here that's causing a lot of, you know, there's some kind of fight, something that's happened here. Um, we've got, can this be it? This is it. Interesting. I'm gonna find out where that comes from. Uh, Rose-colored glasses rose-colored glasses we're gonna find out how these fit is what I meant to say <laughs> so rose-colored glasses seeing things through rose-colored glasses really not seeing them clearly uh, you know some some fog there possibly a veil I'm catching a veil uh, from this energy here um, it's too soon something is too soon Okay, so some something in your life that you're choosing or you're wanting or it's too soon for that, spirit is saying. And then we've got if you want to. 
if you want to. So if you're, you're, you're definitely going through a flood of emotions, uh, thoughts coming in your mind, there's a lot of questions there. It feels like, uh, feels like there's something to do with um, uh, romance here. It could be a possible relationship with a fight. This, this uh, message could be for a lot of different people. I am reading for a collective. So when you see these, grab which one that, you, that you're pulled to, okay? So yeah, interesting. Questions, asking a lot of questions. I feel like you're asking a lot of questions right now. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pull the wisdom of the, um, the wisdom of the oracle cards here and see what else, what other clues we can get to what's going on, my love. Wow. A lot happening, my beautiful Libras, a lot happening. Passion ignites romance. Could be a new uh, person coming in and the passion just bam and it's like, okay, we're on. We're on. Wow. Okay, here we go, darlings. Flexible. <laughs> Being flexible, not, uh, you know, letting go of control, okay? Uh, allowing for balance to happen in your life. You can see the great balance there. I mean, really? Look at that. You know, the great balance. Just, you know, allowing for those unexpected things. I did hear unexpected, uh, what was, or unexplained, unexplainable. So allowing for those times when something comes in, you know, and it's like, okay, I got to bend here. I got to bend in this area. Compromise, right? Compromise, the great compromise. All right, go to the sea. Wow, I love this. Okay. So this card really speaks about uh, journaling, um, talking about how you really feel about things, putting it down on paper. Okay, um, this is really about getting in touch with those emotions. And so that's why there could be a lot of emotions in this um, reading that I'm seeing and feeling uh, because there is a need for that. Going to the sea to, to really find out what it is that you want, really look deep at some of those emotional um, issues that are going on. Why are things bothering you? What is the underlying reason why something is bugging you or you got upset about something okay loyal heart oh oh man loyal heart so definitely a loyal heart loyal so soul there I mean look at that you know somebody very loyal to you um, oh feels like this love that, that could be coming in and then we've got time to go. So there's, uh, this is really talking about moving down your path, okay? And getting through those particular patterns that don't serve us anymore, uh, you know, getting rid of those, time to go. Time to move away from those things, yeah, that aren't, don't, don't belong anymore, right? They don't belong there, okay? So it could be why I was seeing the door shut and slam because there is a door off in the distance. There's like a pathway and then you come up to this uh, archway or a door there and there could be something, you know, time to move on from something. Okay. All right, my loves. Okay. We're going to pull the tarot. See where it goes. See where it goes. Okay, I did a I did a lot of shuffling, so they're not really wanting me to shuffle right now. Okay, that's it. Alrighty, my loves, I hear you. Okay, five of cups, regrets. You know, this card represents you. This is the card that you know. This is kind of where you're at, where you might be within this this coming week. Um, looking back at behaviors, things I did, things that were said, regretting some things. Okay regretting some things. Uh, King of Wands, energy. 
uh, really moving uh, forward, real, having that go-getter spirit, having that competitive spirit. There could be something about competing about um, about passions, competing passions. Uh, there, this is a lot of passion here. Aries Leo Sag here. You could be dealing with Aries Leo Sag. Um, Ace of Swords. This is the opportunity, Ace of Swords, to really uh, get clarity. Get clarity in that area of, you know, of that uh, being up in the head and the worry and the anxiety and thinking about, uh, you know, what I did there or what was done to me or how I reacted to something that, that happened to me. Uh, this is a new opportunity, a new opportunity for, for clarity here. This is, hey, you know, you're at the ace here. This is the, the, a choice that needs, you know, I can, I can take this sword and I can use it both ways because this cuts both ways, okay? And I can decide if I want to cut something out, okay? And I can decide if I want to hold on to a particular truth. Okay, hold on to a reality. All right, this is a, a clarity, seeing something clear. That's the opportunity. Wow. Page of a Wands, my love. This is talking about communication, really speaking about your passion, really taking action on it, um, feeling that, just so really moving. Okay, this is a messaging. I, I'm hearing messaging here. This card has been alive today. <laughs> this card has been demanding to be seen. And this is from your higher uh, self. This is advice saying, hey, communicate. Communicate. Um, you know, we've got go to the sea here about talking, uh, you know, journaling. Communicating with ourself. Okay. Communicating on paper. Writing things down. Communicating. Um, uh, speaking about the compromising, there's something about, um, there's something about, something about competing, uh, I keep hearing competing on this card, and this is not, uh, this is a very passionate card, this is about passion, this is about communication, uh, messages, love, uh, but this is really about energy. Okay, uh, the beginning stage is uh, the force behind something that you're passionate about. And I'm feeling a competitive, competing goals. Okay, competing something there. So we're going to see what comes out. We'll see if we see that five of wands because that's really the competitive card. But this is what I'm getting from this card. How funny. Okay, Emperor. <laughs> So this is a, this is the timing card. So this talks about, uh, you know, you being in control, taking your power back. This also is Aries energy. You could be dealing with that Aries, Aries in the Aries Leo Sag aspect. This is also maybe it could possibly be ego or um, 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 control issues. Okay, feeling like you need to be in control. Um, and or control a situation, all right? Um, but it really feels like when you are, you know, like I just heard back in your power, back in your power. This energy comes in. <laughs> okay, four of Cups, possible, possibly missing an opportunity here. Um, yeah, there could be a, a, an opportunity that you're going to miss here. Uh, or, you know, either by choice or missing it because of some kind of blocks or something. I am going to hit the blocks in the um, extended. So we will ask about, you know, what that is. What are the blocks? Hangman different perspective so this is what you've been doing you've been thinking it looking at things differently uh, you've been um, you know trying to see things through the the other person's eyes this is the way I feel literally I mean it's not the way you think but it's the way other people think and you want to try to understand that and so you've been doing that literally if you have to hang yourself up upside down you've been doing that you want to know 
You want to know what what are they seeing that I'm not seeing? That's what I'm hearing. What are they seeing that I'm not seeing? I don't like the way this is going down. I need to look at this differently. And this is kind of the space that you're you've been in. King of Cups. Very creative. You're a very creative person. This is father energy. Um, wow, I'm really feeling the creativity here. Uh, you are a, a master. You are a master at, uh, you could be an artist. There's something there that you're mastering. I feel it. Um, uh, there, there is also a need for uh, to steady your your uh, emotions, to get those under control. Okay, this is what these two are speaking about here. Okay, this emperor controls the other kings, right? Controlling the king, there could be some drama, there could be some emotions that are out of out of check here, um, and the emperor wants to put them back in check. Okay. Wow. Eight of Cups. This is you walking away from something, saying, ah, you know, you probably said, okay, I need to take this right here, and I need to cut that out of my life, and there you go. I'm going off into the sunset. I'm going off to bigger and better things. That, that thing is no longer a part of my life. So this could be a person that you're walking away from, okay? This could be a pattern, a situation that you're walking away from. But you're going to be walking away from something here. You're going to be going away. You could be, uh, you know, maybe uh, thinking about those regrets and literally walking away from them. All right. Walking away from that. Uh, the Fool. I love this energy. Oh, The Fool. I love, 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 love The Fool. So this is really about, you know, uh, this Aquarius energy. This is about, you know, taking a risk. Taking a risk. Uh, you're, I feel like you possibly were in or are in right this minute, but this is going to change, But you, or you were in this, this space of resistance, okay? And, but you're not there anymore because this is telling me that. This is telling me that this used to be this way, where you were resisting, and now it's this way. And that's great news. That's great news, okay? You're falling in, okay? You're falling in to whatever it is that's calling you there, okay? So you could have been resisting a person, and now you're like, you know, hey, I'm not going to resist anymore, you know? Um, and you're also like, you know, kind of like, I don't want to just jump into things, you know, I want to think about what I'm doing, but at the same time, you do want to have that ability to jump in when it's, when it's the right time, right? Okay. Ten of swords. <laughs> Ten of swords, you know, uh, clearing the air, clearing the air. This is what this card speaks to me about, clearing the air with all the birds in there, up in the air. Uh, this card really speaks about death, something ending. So it just feels like, you know, the air is going to get cleared. The emotions are going to get cleared. Clarity is going to come in and it's, it's, yeah. So this could be happening with somebody that you're, you know, that's coming in romantically, uh, there or in a relationship if you're battling with somebody that you love this is about clearing the air you could be walking away from that person okay or you could be walking away from the situation that caused all of the emotions i did see the door slam shut as if it was slamming shut in somebody's face so we're happy to see this clearing of the air right because that means healing that means healing. Okay, so let me take a peek at some of these other cards here. Temperance. Oh, yeah. See, having the patience, and we got the Five of Swords. We're definitely, could be dealing with a Sagittarius here, because this is uh, Temperance is Sagittarius. We have the Five of Swords really speaking about, you know, no winner. No winner, man. No winner, and there ain't no dinner. Okay? So nobody's winning. Nobody's eating either. 
Okay, so this is talking about like burying that, you know, letting go of that. Okay, because nobody's going to win. So we're going to let go of that and we're going to have patience. We're going to walk away from that. We have the Eight of Cups walking away from the situation. Okay, walking away from it. Um, Eight of Swords it's really got us all up in our heads, really causing these a lot of moods, really a confusion, anxiety, worry, super upset. I mean, look at that person is all tied up like us, uh, stuck stuck there okay but understand that this is an, this is an illusion this is an illusion i really feel illusion coming off of this card there's illusion um and this is all you you being trapped there could be the other person but i'm feeling you all right uh that is air energy we got a lot of air energy here libra your air energy here Okay. Oh my gosh. Nine of swords. Just being in this complete and utter nightmare, not sleeping. I don't know what happened, but yeah, that's what's going on. You guys. Oh my gosh. Page of pentacles could be about money. There could be something that happened about money. This could be something there, or you're holding on to this icky energy. Okay. This confusion and worry, and you're not letting go. You're holding on to it. Okay, or somebody's holding on. Six of Cups. <laughs> Somebody from the past, possibly a sibling, uh, but this person uh, could be from the past, could be from a past life here. Um, yeah, holding on to, to something that went down there. Y'all can tell me in the, in the comments. I'd love to hear it totally just got a beep on my watch which means that is right on okay wow yeah we got moving away moving away uh you're either going to be moving away with the person that's coming in or you're moving away from the person okay you're moving out and away from these emotions and you're going into the calmer you're moving away from the confusion okay you just went through this burdensome thing or you're going to go through this burdensome thing, but you're going to be moving. Okay. You could be physically moving also because you're going to be moving. You might be moving away from somebody. So you could be physically moving. Definitely. Definitely. Oh my goodness. I'm going to pull a couple more. We've got, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Yay. Oh, man. we got the Wheel of Fortune. Rising above, having the patience, waiting for divine timing. Luck is on our side. Okay. We're deciding to let go. Let go of whatever it is. Okay. We're deciding to let go. This comes in. This comes in for us, baby. A big old shot of luck here. Okay. A big old shot of luck. Wow. <sighs> definitely dealing with a heartbreak. Um, this is definitely about, oh my gosh, oh my goodness sake. You know, I don't know what happened. There could have been some cheating. I did, I did just now see the Seven of Swords. Um, but, you know, just quickly, we got the Four of Wands. You know, the King, the, the Four of Wands, uh, the Four of Wands, that's about a commitment. I'm just going to have to do this this way. Okay. Four of Wands, Three of Swords, King of Swords here. Okay. Definitely a commitment, a heartbreak because of a commitment. King of Swords coming in, making that judgment call and deciding, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to cut this out of my life. I'm finding the truth. I'm seeing the truth. It looks to me like somebody, there's could be something that happened that cheated and just really broke your heart. There's a lover's card in the two of, two of cups here. So it really feels like somebody, somebody did something to you here and you're seeing it for what it is. You're clearing the air and you're moving off. And I'm saying that because this is what is there. Okay. This is the cheating sneaky low down dirty deed person okay and so i'm really hearing that with this 
Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the extended and see if I can get some more information. If there's like, um, you know, why did this happen? Why did this happen? Um, we're going to ask about this loyal heart because there's somebody there and they're helping you and they're loyal to you. Uh, you've got the King of Swords. You've got the, the King of Wands, the Emperor, the King of Cups. You've got all of these kings here. Okay. All of them. And one of them is this very loyal heart. There could, a couple of them could be this loyal heart, but somebody is helping you. Somebody's helping you through this situation. And so we're going to find out, you know, um, you, you know, there's definitely somebody, it, it, it almost feels like there's two people here. There's somebody that cheated on you that you're really upset, slam the door, you're walking away from that, that situation. And then there's somebody else that's helping you, helping you with your emotions, helping you with your thoughts, helping you, giving you clarity of what you need to do. And, and, uh, there could be some kind of romantic involvement here, passion ignites, so we're going to talk about that person. We're going to find out about that person. We're going to ask some questions over there in the extended. All right, my darlings, I will see you there. The link is below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Much love to you. Bye, darlings. See you there.